Hello and welcome to today's edition of The Daily Beard. I am Jason Fox, a.k.a. Lee Wells Beard, and today we are discussing the tweet. If most advertising is to be believed, the majority of brands are quite excited about meeting the bare minimum of customer expectations. Now, I know that every ad and every product cannot have something super special about itself that it can speak about. Sometimes you're selling more or less a commodity, but that's why the advertising has to be special. You're weaving a brand around this product. You're making it more attractive. Instead, so much advertising seems to say, hey, here we are. We do the things you expect us to do. We have doors. We're a door and window store. You know what our doors and windows do? They open and they close. Well, good for you. Or please, if you want to move into a retirement community, we have retirement apartments and we serve you meals. Well, I would certainly hope so. That is the bare minimum of what you can do. Why are we doing these things? We are doing feature advertising that doesn't even feature the features people really want to know about, the kind that set you apart. I see this all the time in car advertising. Great, your car goes down the road. A beautiful road, probably somewhere out in California. Perhaps along the tail of the dragon in Tennessee, although I don't think they're allowed to actually stop traffic and shoot commercials there. If they did, that would be outstanding. But I digress. I like cars. It's what I do. But no one's really pointing out things that make something different, whether it's a visceral emotion your product elicits or an actual feature that sets you apart. Find something unique to talk about, and if you can't, find a unique way of speaking about the things that are the same. Make your point of difference your brand, because that's what a strong brand is. A strong brand is, on its own, by its very existence, your point of difference. Let's try doing that today, shall we? I'm Jason Fox. Have a good one.